Hello everybody, my name is Alan, I'm from Cyberlab, and today I will show how you can install Casa OS. In this video, I will use a virtual machine, but potentially you can use a proper computer or either VPS, a server outside your house. This application promises to have a cloud system that you have already installed the Docker and that you can manage it anywhere in a fast speed. This installation, I will use the Ubuntu server. So you're gonna need to have Ubuntu installed in your system, otherwise you're not gonna be able to install this application. You can install other operating system. Yes, you can do it, but I have some limitation because it's a new program and it's not full test in other systems. And then I will tell you, this application, when I first see, was really similar for the OpenMediaVal because you have the Docker installed and this application have the dock installed. After I start to see, have some good points or bad points. Open Interval have more functionality and is a little bit more heavy. This application have less functionality and is a little bit more light. Basically, it's only a layer that you can have overview for your application or your Opera system. So if you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're gonna show in this video. But first of all, don't forget to leave your like, consider to subscribe for the channel and Let's do it. So first thing that you're gonna do is open the website from this application, CasOS. And here they say Home Cloud OS. They say that's work focus for Doc ecosystem. And that to do the installation is quite easy. It's only follow this step. One thing that's called my attention is this one. Compatible with Raspberry Pi OS or 86 bits device. When I look for Raspberry Pi, they work with ARM system. So I presume I didn't test it, but if you want to install in an Oracle Cloud, use the ARM system, potentially they will work well. Only thing that you need to take care of is the operating system that you're gonna install. I suggest you to install in a Ubuntu system, and I'll show you in the future why, but uh, potentially can it work with Oracle Linux as well, but uh, I didn't test it. If we go a little bit down, they show a little bit what this application can do, what they promise that is 10 times faster cloud system. They say that's elegant and everything. We go a little bit down, you can install the home system, you can install some camera recording, mercy and light controls. I think that the home system it's not interesting to install in this application because they're gonna install the home system core, not the home system supervisor. It means that you not have all the supervised applications. It will be a little bit limited, but yes, you can install an easy way. If you go a little bit more down here, what I want to show, this overview for the CasOS. If I go and take it, if I only have the Ubuntu server installed, I have this view where I need to have the prompts command and tape everything. In this way, if I want to install an application, they have a pretty view. You can see how much CPU that you're using, how much memory run that you're using, all the hard drive that's connect, and that it's easy for you. And that's it, nothing else that we need to worry about at this stage. If I come here for a live demo, I can see how this application work. Here, they will give the username, the password, but anyway, I can come here and start the application. Because I already did the login before, they will not ask me to do login again, but otherwise, you need to look for that information there. Here, they already have my CPU. If I open here, I know how much of each application that they're using. So far browser, it's using 1.2 and uh, nothing else is using my CPU. If I come for my run memory, I'm using 211 for Jellyfin, 100 for Photo Prisma and um, some extra for the other application. This system, I have one hard drive where it has uh, 155 gigabytes. If I come here, they say that it's healthy and they drive it's an SSD and they say health. This health, I think that because they do a smart, but I don't know how to configure it yet. I don't know if you have this option. If I come here, you can define time, system start to storage. If I remove it, they will remove and continue on to be simple your page. And here we'll have all the application that install for you. If I come here for App Store, I can see what application that it's already pre-installed. So I can come here only put install, and they will install easy this application and that they will install this application. Otherwise, you can come here in custom application and here you can do some extra installation. Because I click here to try to install the Pyho, they already appear this information for Pyho automatically. Otherwise, I can tape manually and decide which image that I want to use. 
So have this one in mind, now we can look to do the installation in our system. The system that we're gonna use will be my Ubuntu server, it's a virtual machine. The IP address for this machine is 192.168.1.155 and I have uh, four, 15 gigabytes of uh, hard drive where I may really use 38.2 gigabytes where I install the open system and some extra application that I don't remember but has been installed. The system that I'm using is Ubuntu 20.04. And that you, you're gonna ask why I'm using this one, I'll show you. If I come here, if I open the GitHub page where it's CasaOS, if I go a little bit down, they have some explanation what they can do, what view, how it's the view for your phones, how to do the installation, we're gonna do this in specific installation, but before it, I want to see the compose system. What they say, Ubuntu Server 20.04, they have full tested, but the rest of the system, they are not full test. So potentially you have some problems with it. You can see some bugs in some of those because you're not using the full develop version. They use a beta one and that's a uh, work, but you can have some problems. So have this one in mind. Now we're gonna open our Putin and start to, to do our installation. In the Putin, I will open the same machine. I will do my login, Sauber Lab. Great, now everyone should be able to see it. As I told, it's my open system. First thing that you're gonna need to do is looking as a root. Otherwise, all the application not work as expected. So, sudo su, they will ask my password, I put here, and I will put cd and clear. Okay, I'm as a root. So now I can do the update of my system. apt get update. And now I can do the upgrade. So I'll put up, great and run it. So now I can run that application that we show. Get help install and run it. They will do all the steps, you don't need to worry about it. Let's wait around one or two minutes until they finish the installation that we can go for the next step. So let's wait. Okay, after two minutes, you're gonna see this page where it's uh, the docker okay and all the information it's okay and the Casa OS is started. Now we can access CasaOS using this IP address. So if you wanted to configure it for extend access, you're gonna need to define as a port eight or need to modify this port for another port in order to work. Let's copy this information and open our web browser and open this IP address. The first time that I open this IP address, they say, welcome to CasaOS. Let's create our initial account. Let's do it, go. Let's create Sauberlab and password. I suggest you put a strong password, basically if you want to access externally it and put great. Then our system is here. I have uh, 14 gigabytes, exactly what I was expecting. If I come here in configuration, I almost use all my system, but in the drive I have uh, a 30 gigabytes drive. The truth that this virtual machine is installed in a SSD, but I didn't configure it as SSD, I configure it as hard drive, so they will show as a hard drive, but it will be quite fast anyway. They say that's healthy and the storage here. Because they don't have any application, if you come here, they will not use any run memory or CPU. It's only the basic application for the Debian. If I come here, now I can install my first application. Come here, app, let's install Plex. Okay, and they will start to install Plex. If I put continue for background, they will appear here once that is finished. Other thing that's interesting in this application, it sync your data. So they already have the sync thing installed. If I come here, go, I can install this application in different platforms. I can come show all the platforms. I can install Windows 64, 32, Mac OS and Android. No, not have for iPhone, so don't try to do it. And this way you can install, you can come here next, make all the configuration. They already show what you need to do to do the backup and it's done. One thing that we're gonna show in the next video how to do. But remember, if you have only 14 gigabytes of uh, hard drive, don't try to do sync thing for something big because it'll not work as well. If I come here in my Plex, I can open my Plex, but let's come here and put settings. In the settings, they already configure everything as a standard. So you have the name of image, the icon that you're gonna look, what IP address that you're gonna access, what kind of uh, connection that you have or network, host or bridge, and that's the configuration, the media. You always can change it. And that's uh, what can see that's all the information inside the data, media. 
and here my PYD, PJT and the version that you're using. So in this way, you can come here and install any of those applications that's already pre-configured or you can come here and add all these applications. If you don't like this idea to have a Docker image installed this way and you want to use a Docker Compose or anything, you always can install Portainer and that's from Portainer you can do the installation the same way that we're gonna do in other videos. So guys, I hope that you like this video. This video only show how you can install CasOS. In the next video, we'll show how you can do all this application, how you can configure the SMB, how you can configure the external access and continue on. So if you like this video and think that it was interesting, don't forget to leave your like, consider to subscribe for the channel and see you next time. Bye.